I guess I don't. We're I gonna, know we're there's gonna, gonna be a lot yeah, of questions. We'll, we'll have one we can show you in a second here. What dongles um, are compatible? And um, we've updated our photography on the website. We did that when we released the new mm -hmm. dongle. So oh, you can just image. yeah, you can just compare the images to yours, and uh, that'll tell you right away, yeah. uh, just from a quick visual standpoint. Yeah. So see the anything with the zero three four dynamic. Um, oh, yeah, we have the blades in it too. The, right? the plastic blades mm -hmm. is the new version, um, and then. As Nate said, the, the two the LED light bars that run across the back. Um, this is the new version cable. They look very similar. Um, the older version of the cable is is solid aluminum case with a little LED on the top here. So yeah, and USB B like an old USB B connector versus the newer right. USB C. Yeah. So then the new cable has USB C. I don't know if you can you can see, but you can see this the is C. the old cable. So oh, sorry, this one's the old cable. So. Um, USB C is all the rage now, as as we know. Um, everything's moving to that. So, anyways, um, well, since we're talking about like dongles, let's talk about that. So, if you have our older version of the dongle, this will still allow you to fa flash your vehicle using the laptop, just like you've always done. Nothing. We we're not turning anything off. Yeah, we're not going to discontinue. You know, yeah. Any any previous support for logging for flashing all that stuff um, is is still going to work like it did on that cable. If you would like mobile flashing using the 034 SPI app, then you will need this newer version of the dongle. Yep. If you have it, wonderful, you're good to go. Yep. If you don't, and you have previously purchased or own our original cable slash dongle, then you can contact our customer service at contact at 034motorsport.com. And with with a proof of, proof of purchase, um, you can buy the new version for 89 bucks, yep. down from 150. Um, and it'll be the full kit, you know, clamshell case, cable, yep. USB-C. Mm -hmm. uh, it has, has both a USB-C to C and a USB-A to C um, uh, cord yeah. with it, yeah. uh, if you still need that. And you can keep your old cable. You know, this is not a trade-in program. Yep. So you, you keep the old one, and you can still use that as well. Um, or you can sell it to somebody who doesn't want mobile. Yep. Um, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But you know, every year, Apple and Samsung and companies come out with new hardware because there are improvements and changes in hardware that allow increased speed, functionality, and safety. And uh, and so we, we had to kind of look long and hard at like, you know, we, we had the opportunity to to move to more modern current hardware and functionality from where we were at, you know, three four years ago. Um, and so we took the opportunity to do that now. Um, we don't want anyone to have to buy a full price cable, so that's why we're doing the special offer for eighty nine dollars. Yeah, we um, we went back and forth a lot on how far back we wanted to go with the cable support, and it's just a matter of being able to provide the most robust, uh, fastest, and, and reliable um, uh, you know interaction. And the new cables we spec and built um, you know, over the past year. Um, uh, could they plug the cable into their phone with a USB C to Lightning or C to C? Not, not in iOS. iOS does not allow direct USB connections at this point. I'm hoping that we'll be able to open that up more with the new devices that have USB C. Um, there's a lot of discussion about that, but right now it's uh, it's a pain in the butt. It's on Bluetooth iOS. only. It's Bluetooth only. Um, Android. There are a number of devices you can go USB-C to USB-C straight to this. It still needs to be the, the updated cable. Um, so there are situations, yes, where you can plug in directly there. But in uh, in iOS land right now, it's, it's going to be wireless. Uh, someone's asking, what fa fail-safes are in place if there happens to be a Bluetooth connection hiccup during a flash? Yep, yep. that's one of the reasons we, 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 covered that, we moved yeah. to this, this newer generation of cable. It's got enough storage on board. Um, that we're able to essentially buffer all of the data ahead of time that we need to transfer. Mm -hmm. And then it handles the actual transfer of data to the uh, controller once you initiate the flash. So um, it's very don't, try not to walk away from your car or don't walk away from your car. Don't, yeah. you know, let the app just do its thing. Keep it in the foreground. Let it flash the vehicle. Yeah, watch um, it work. Let watch it, it work. Just, it just yeah, don't go watching YouTube videos and all that and because, you know, apps get deprioritized when mm -hmm. you're in the background. But... Um, yeah, we're trying to make it as robust as possible, knowing that there's a myriad of devices and use cases out there. Um, but it is very stable. We yep. wouldn't. We don't want to brick a, an ECU. Nope. Um, we wouldn't release a product that would, would have any any chance of doing that. So yeah, I've tried to do a lot of really dumb stuff with it. Um, 
you know, in preparation for that. And yeah, it's, like you went on been, Tinder at the same time. I literally walked like yeah. into the field behind my house, kind of thing. Oh, okay. Disconnects and then oh, uh, no, it's a different kind of dumb. don't don't do that. Okay. Don't don't go to leave your phone in the car if you have to go yeah. to the bathroom. Like just let it do its thing. Right. Keep your phone plugged in as well. Power, well, yeah, that depends on battery um, and the, whatever power saving stuff. The, we, you know, we force the app to disable power management so that it doesn't go to sleep while it's flashing. But if your phone's like super low on battery, yeah, make sure you let things charged. Do you still need to connect? Uh, that's a good question. Do you still need to connect Trickle Charger to Flash with the 034 SPI app? There's no difference in recommended flashing procedures. Um, just like anything out there, you are reflashing the ECU. So that's mm -hmm. a question we. We can tell you the right way to do it and how it's supposed to be done, where it's not a trickle charger, it's an actual sustained, uh, you know, substantial charge, uh, you know, power supply, basically. Mm -hmm. um, that said, I can't think the last time I plugged a charger into flash any of my cars. So, yeah, um, we, rec we recommend We it. recommend it just because that's you, we want to cover all the bases, make sure there's no issues. Um, but, of course, we know how the real world works and yeah. we're part of it, too. Um, I would say, you know, if, if this is your first go around, follow all those procedures. You don't know some of these flashes. Like if it's an initial flash for a CMOS 18, CMOS 19, so like an MQB, Mark 7, Mark 8, GTI, those flashes, no matter what, are going to take like 25, 30 minutes. Um, and those, you know, Mark 7 battery from, you know, 2015 now, mm -hmm. it may not be able to deal with that kind of load just sitting there for the first time. So do yourself a favor. Um, yeah. Make sure you're familiar with the process and you know what's involved. Um, for the first time, it makes sense. For the first time, get an, get a feel for it and know you know how long these different flashes will take on mm -hmm. your vehicle. If you're going back to stock or coming you know from stock to a modified file or just changing octanes, they're all different yeah. uh, amounts of data that need to get transferred. Would it be possible to support the old cable on Android using USB? Um, again, it doesn't do. Uh, there's no there's no mechanism for it to store the data and transfer the data like we're mentioning before so it's not something we really want to support no we, we don't currently support that if you wanted to try it and roll the dice but no we don't recommend doing that follow-up question to the trickle charger question what if the flash failed i.e battery died phone died whatever is there a way to recover it, it, that's an impossible question to answer there's so many scenarios where if things go sideways um i mean there's no difference in if the phone's doing it or if the AC's doing it. If your car battery dies, I mean, that's not ideal. Yeah, um, I, I would I would not attempt to flash your car if your phone is about to die. You know, just don't do it. Or the car's got a questionable battery. Basically, this is what I'm, yeah. we're, we're trying to say. is like, be familiar with your, your car, your flashing experience, what, what it takes, like, in the safety of your garage, the comfort of your garage, where you, you know, there's not, you're not you know, at a gas station at 2 a.m. trying to do something new for the yeah. first time and you don't know it's going to be a 25-minute process or something like Yeah, the, the 0 through 4 SPI app is not magical. It's not a superhero. It cannot save you from, you know, the the dangers of life. So, like, let's say if, you know, if your car is on fire, you probably shouldn't flash the car. You should get out of the car and evacuate the general area because it could explode. Right. Um, things like that. If you just swallowed poison and you go to flash the vehicle, you're still going to die from the poison. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, so. But we, we, we will continue to try. Apple Silicon MacBooks supported now, too. That's great news. Yes, they are. Uh, as long as they have the M1, M2, or M3. Yeah, they, any of the Apple Silicon stuff. <clears throat> yeah. Should be good. Will we be able to flash through cell service, or will we still need a Wi-Fi connection? You can flash through cell service. Um, again, as long as you have reasonable cell service. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if it's going to take 20 minutes to download a megabyte or two of data, mm -hmm. probably not going to be a good time for you. Someone's asking if they can download tunes to the dongle and flash when they're offline. So we've talked about that. That is something we're looking for, uh, or we're looking to do, you know, in the near future. Um, there will be like an offline mode, so you don't have to have a internet connection. You're out in the sticks. You need to do something. Uh, you'll be able to do that. Right now, it's an online. It it's, needs to be online to fire up, and get things going. Offline mode will be coming. Someone's asking about what login do they use? It's it's just your. Dynamic Plus login. If you don't have it, you're going to need to reset your password, just like any other website on the internet. Yeah. Ours yeah. is no different. Yeah. Someone's asking if I can use a P3 with a splitter. Absolutely not. Those Any no. any OBD gauges are generally atrocious when it comes to trying Sharing. to share that data stream. 
Well, that's I, the issue we've had with these mobile starting. Yeah, there, there's been, there's well. there's alarms, there's remote yeah. start stuff, anything. Then this is nothing to do with mobile, with SPI or any. It's just the fact that so many um, aftermarket uh, devices out there that that rely on the OBD connection do not do it politely. Um, so you know, if you're if you're if you're a gauge manufacturer, maybe you can take note. If something else is starting to talk to the ECU. Go quiet for an hour until it comes. You know it's gone. Yeah. But all right, well, let's yeah. let's move on. It, it, no, you cannot. Split <laughs> but no, don't split it. Yeah. You need just this on on the line.